Okay, so I have mocked up a setup here with a universal robot to assemble the part that you guys gave me. One of these guys. And um, the setup we have is a universal robot, robot UR5. And then on the end of it, we have a Robotique servo driven gripper with two fingers on the end that will open and close to grip the parts and the advantage of that gripper is that it is uh, flexible enough that it can pick up different size of parts you can program at what position, what speed, what force to use to pick up these different size parts okay so that's the setup and what I've done is just set up some crude part presentation devices here. So I'm going to set that guy up like that. I'm going to grab this part and put him up here just to so he's fairly repeatedly located. And then put this guy up next to it. And then grab the spring and put it on this threaded rod here just like that and that actually works really well and then I'll grab the cap that we're going to have to put on top of everything and push in with some pressure I'll just put that on top of this stud here and I'll orient a black dot on one of the tabs roughly anyway with the black dot on the edge of that plate okay so you are going to have to orient that, orient that along with the outer shell here and I've just got the one of the slots of it facing straight forward so nothing real precise here you do have some play in the with the size of your slots compared to the tabs and stuff so now I'll just come over to the Universal Robot pendant, hit program, and play, and it says move me into the starting position, so the robot moves into the start position, and then I click OK, and play, you see the gripper open up, and I hit play, there we go. Place the first part. The second part. And we're done. Ready to get another one. Of course, picking that part up and putting it into the tester is no problem. That's the easy part. There you have a assembled part.